orders to block the doorway, President Kennedy ordered the Secretary of Defense then to use military force. Here by videotape is the encounter by General Graham, Commander of the National Guard, and Governor Wallace. Because these National Guardsmen who are here today as federal soldiers on Alabama, and they live within our borders, they are our brothers. We are winning in this fight because we are awakening the American people to the dangers that we have spoken about so many times, which is so evident today, the trend toward military dictatorship in this country. And so at day's end, the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa had been desegregated, and students Jimmy Hood and Vivian Malone had been signed up for summer classes. did what he promised to do. By being on the Tuscaloosa campus, he kept them off from gathering and so preventing wouldn't that go? No, nah, I couldn't be. Sure as hell was. A few years later, that angry little man at the schoolhouse door thought it'd be a good idea and ran for president. But somebody thought that it wasn't. Congratulations, how does it feel being all American? It's an honor, sir. Congratulations, how does it feel being all American? Very good, sir. Congratulations, how does it feel being all American? Very good, sir. Congratulations, how do you feel? I got it, hey. <laughs> I believe you said he had. Pass. And shake, 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 shake. And pause. Got it. That was a very good one. Excellent. It was amazing to see Tom plug in great quickly to that uh, because it's, it's hard to do. No matter what we did, his hands wouldn't end up in exactly the right place. And shake, 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 and pause. Put it in his, can you get his hand in his hand? So one of the other things we have to do is we have to adjust his hand and make it fit in exactly so that he makes solid contact. Because we're sort of morphing his chin down over his shoulder. That we're, getting we're doing a lot of shoulder. augmentation to uh, these shots so that it, it feels like Tom is really in the actual archival footage. So we're degrading his image and you know adding the scratches, the pops, the things that really look like the older footage. So I really like how this works. They're not just standing together, they're touching each other, shaking hands, interacting, and then also having a conversation. Congratulations. How do you feel? I got it, hey. I believe he said he had to go pee. I believe he said he had to go pee. <laughs> Sometime later, for no particular reason, somebody shot that nice young president when he was riding in his car. And a few years after that, Somebody shot his little brother, too, only he was in a hotel kitchen. Two weeks later, I left Vietnam. The ceremony was kicked off with a candid speech by the president regarding the need for further escalation of the war in Vietnam. President Johnson awarded four medals of honor to men from each of the armed services. America owes you a debt of gratitude, son. I understand you were wounded. Where were you hit? In the butt talk, son. Oh, that must be a sight. I'd kind of like to see that. And here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. Jesus loves you more than you will know. <laughs> oh, damn. The U.S. ping pong team met with President Nixon today at an overall ceremony. Wouldn't you ceremony. know it? A few months later, they invited me and the ping pong team to visit the White House. So I went, again, and I met the President of the United States, again. Only this time they didn't get us rooms in a real fancy hotel. So are you enjoying yourself in our nation's capital, young man? Yes, sir. Well, where are you staying? It's called the Hotel Ebot. Oh, no, 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 no. I know of a much nicer hotel. It's brand new, very modern. I'll have my people take care of it for you. Well. Yeah, sir, you might want to send a maintenance man over to that office across the way. The lights are off and they must be looking for a fuse box or something because in flashlights, they're keeping me awake. Thank you. Good night.
Therefore, I shall resign the presidency effective at noon tomorrow. Vice President Ford will be sworn in as president at that hour 